Um, yeah, uh, and that's why you got to stay after it kind of day in, day out. This game's long enough, I know it's probably going to happen at some point. Um, but that doesn't mean now that I have more kind of points to refer back to. I'm hoping it never gets too far back. You say it, but you really just hope that it doesn't. Um, but in this game, when there's highs and lows, you really want to ride those highs as long as you yeah. can. So you keep everything you're doing each day, do it, keep doing it. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for. There's just certain checkpoints that I kind of go when I'm in the cage. Um, and I, I mean, I have them written down uh, that it's something that I want to feel with certain, whether it's a T drill or a flip drill, each time I have different checkpoints that I kind of want to need to cross off before I get out of the cage. And um, I go out of there, get coming out of the cage feeling good. And uh, with, with, the, with the hands in the right position, it really does, everything just kind of falls in the line with my, with my body, my weight balance, and um, zone awareness, I guess. Sometimes it actually is. I mean, I think I've tried to explain it probably not very well. Sometimes a guy will get the feel, and it's, it, like with Kip, I think it's his hands. Sometimes he feels like his hands are kind of like in underwater. You know, that's not what he says, but just, but then when he, he has such good hitter's hands, and when he feels good, he gets pretty dangerous.